we need to talk about fighter jets. Canada only has one type of fighter, the CF-18 Hornet. We originally bought 138 in the late 1980s, and since then we've retired or lost a number of them, and now we only have 76 airframes left. But to fix our Air Force, Justin Trudeau has committed Canada to buying 25 old F-18s from Australia. I think it's important to put this into context. The F-18s that Canada's Air Force currently flies are over 40 years old. Its airframe is at the very end of its lifespan and it's extremely expensive to operate. The jets we're buying from Australia are even older than the ones we already own and they're in even worse shape. They don't work with our equipment, they can't really be upgraded with new equipment, and they'll cost hundreds of millions of dollars every year just to maintain and buying them will give this Liberal government yet one more excuse to delay the purchase of badly needed, new, modern, capable fighter aircraft. Buying used jets from Australia is a terrible idea and the only person who doesn't think so is Justin Trudeau, period. The CF-18 is old. And you might not realize how old. We got them way back in the early 1980s, but they were designed and built in the 1970s. Since then, our jets protected us during the Cold War and flew 2,700 combat missions in the first Gulf War. They flew NATO missions in Kosovo and Libya. They've targeted ISIS in Iraq, and they remain today on alert supporting NORAD and defending North America. The CF-18 was a great airplane, and our Air Force pilots and maintainers and logisticians have gone above and beyond. But they can't work miracles, and now, 40 years later, their reliability and maintainability is rapidly declining. Things on these aircraft break more often, it's harder to predict when they will break, and it's increasingly difficult to find spare parts. This puts the safety of our pilots at risk as they continue to demand maximum performance of the fighter on every operational mission. Add to that that aviation technology has developed considerably since the 1980s, and that these older aircraft are several generations behind current military technology. Frankly, these jets from Australia are in terrible shape. And this isn't my opinion, it's the conclusion of a 2012 report by the Australian Defence Department. As far back as 2012, the Australians knew that safety, operational availability, and capability were compromised, and they also identified correctly that the cost of maintaining the F-18 was going to increase dramatically because of their age and the scarcity of parts these jets are falling apart. And that's why the Australians committed to replace their entire fleet and stop flying these F-18s this year. Remember, these are the jets we're buying. For many of us who have served or are currently serving, buying these used jets is humiliating. It shows our allies that Canada's not serious about our role, our alliances, our defense. If our allies and our adversaries know that Canada doesn't take its defense seriously, all of Trudeau's virtue signaling on Twitter is just pandering, because everyone knows there's nothing to back it up. At the end of the day, this is about leadership. Over the last four years, Trudeau has again and again demonstrated that he's unwilling to make the tough decisions. The foundational change on the things that matter, like Canada's defense, security, and sovereignty. And it's part of the reason that I left the Liberal Party and joined the Conservatives. The only good news is that there's an election in 2019, and we will have a chance to send our allies and the world a strong message that Canadians remember how to punch above our weight.